Hello Internet, this is Olivier and I'm at the workshop. I'm just about to set off to do some photography. I'm gonna work in a bar. Yes, I'm gonna be doing some barman stuff. <laughs> My cocktail skills, not so much. You know, I'm uh, gonna be painting a venue, a pool venue, pool bar kind of thing. Uh, they've got about 10 um, uh, pool tables. And uh, we're looking for some images to do some nice, uh, some nice artwork on all around the, um, uh, on the walls, all around the venue, inside and outside. This is going to be a big job. But the pictures that um, we were kind of like debating what we wanted, if we wanted people or or uh, glasses and you know pool balls, uh, whatever balls, cues, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to go there take some pictures, come back here, do some different pictures and I'm gonna go tomorrow and start painting. I'm gonna take you to the workshop real quick. Uh, I know the lights are flickering uh, but it's these ones are annoying and I can't match the frame rates 24, 60, 40, 30, whatever, it doesn't work. So sorry about that. I'm just gonna pack up all of this. I've already started, I've got my lights. Um, just to show you what I've got, I've got one, two, three um, speed lights. These are really cool. They cost uh, uh, TT560, I had some before. They cost about 25 pounds on eBay, um, which is cool. Got my domes and my honeycombs, because I'm going to direct the lights. Definitely got my gels. Work really well for, if you follow me on Instagram and you've seen the, the pictures of um, Elisa that I painted yesterday and took some pictures of. To be honest, I haven't been in the studio and this is still, basically we just left it. Um, so these work really well. Uh, got the cameras, got the lenses, and I got my tripods. Got some small tripods. These are really cool for holding the flashes, especially when you're doing uh, flash photography outside. Because when you're starting to use um, light stands, whether you get the cheaper ones or the more sturdy ones, they still blow in the wind. Anyway, if you're interested in camera gear and all that, I might do a video about it. Well, if you're interested, I will. But if it's boring and you don't care, then I won't. <laughs> but anyway, all the stuff is set up. Let's just go to the bar. Okay, so we are now at the bar and I'm going to start setting up and take the pictures. All of this is really dark on the outside and it's really glossy and bright and vibrant. That's what I want to do. So I want to do some of those, like close-ups of um, the pool table, uh, sorry, the pool cues with the balls and all that. So that's going to be really cool. A quick thing, and this is more about uh, painting, but if you're looking to get work, it's not as difficult as you may think. This place has been around for ages. And once I walked in here and I thought, I like this wall. And I thought that'd be cool if I painted it. And it's not very good because it's from ages ago. I don't know if I can take this off, but it's basically, uh, it's a woman drinking a glass of wine or something. Can you just about see? Not really. <laughs> And it's even got my old website, mrshears.com. <laughs> so this is from a while ago. Um, basically, I was playing pool with a friend of mine, uh, JXC, I think it was. Not sure who, it was, uh, who I was playing pool with, maybe him. Anyway, I thought, this is a nice wall, let me paint it. So I went and got in touch with the, um, the owner of the bar, uh, which, whom, it was a different owner than the one now. Anyway, I ended up painting the wall and uh, putting my website or whatever. I did all this for free. They didn't pay for the cans, whatever. I just said, let me just paint the wall. I'll advertise this London Bridge. It's like really central in London. It's really good. Um, and that'd be cool. So from this, I've actually built up a relationship with him. I painted the VIP, which was paid, and then did loads of other work over the years for him and his friends, including the now current owner of this place, whom I work for in a different place. And also through that, I've worked in other places and done other things, whatever. So don't think, first of all, forget about Google. That's just going to be a waste of money. Do not advertise on Facebook, Google, Instagram. You're just going to waste money. Don't bother. Go directly to people. This is a, everybody always asks me, how, how do I get the work? How do I get the work? I walk in the place and I have my speech. If you're going to spend money, spend money on 
how to be confident and approach clients and know what to say, have a good website, have all that, have business cards. This is how I get the work. I literally go to the person, speak to them. If I've got to send an email, I've got to call and ask the right person. Because if I, <coughs> sorry, out of breath. <laughs> if I just send um, an email to inquiry at whatever the place is, it's just going to fall into dead ears. So I may have to call and then the person will say, oh, you need to speak to Suzanne at blah, 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 whatever. So you speak to, you send an email to that person and then they hear from you and then you can meet, you can talk by email, whatever, you get to work. In this day where everything is like me, like an idiot talking to a camera, um, we want more and more the, um, the, I don't even know if you can see me well, let me get some light. That should be better. In this day when everything is all um, electronic, we want um, the, the human element. You know, I want to speak to a human, they want to speak to a human. That's how you get the work. So if you want to get loads of work, just go and speak to people and you'll get the work. Okay, so this is my setup so far. Um, nothing much to it yet. I've got the 7200 and I'm probably going to shoot between uh, 135 to 200. So I'm um, really getting close in there. I've got two flashes with two domes and two honeycombs on them. So it's gonna direct the light very much here, not everywhere, just like in the middle. And I think what I might do is um, just do a few where I'm just spinning the, the ball, taking this out real quick, and then maybe catch the, the ball spinning. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few, some with the gels and some without. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna keep this video about the, um, the, the work, how I get the work. In, um, in the future, I mean, I'll probably be back here and I'm gonna, obviously, I can shoot at the studio. So if you're interested in the light setup, like how I set up my light to do something like this, like, you know, kind of like product photography and all that stuff. And then I've got to go to the studio as well to do some with like the ice cube falling in the glass kind of thing, splashing. If you're interested in a later date, maybe in a month or two, if you want me to do a video like this, talking about the, how I light my subjects, my things, whatever, let me know in the comments below and I will do one about this. So for today, let's just keep it nice and sweet. Keep it about the work. If you want to get work, just get up, go get the work. This is how I get the work. You know, don't rely on advertising and everything. The only advertising I do really is painting in the street. So the more I have fun, the more I get work. So don't look for excuses and don't listen to advertisers. They're lying for the most part. Not always, but a lot of the time. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.